Cal Backman and she's so high, 649 and minus 3 here in Halifax. And we're looking at a sunny day today and a high of 3. It's the breakfast show. I'm Bill. And, and that's Rick over there. And I brought Rick in here too because, I don't know, sh Christmas shopping. Uh -huh. You either li love it or you kind of don't. Right. There's no middle ground. No. And for the most part, men who usually will not set foot in a shopping mall of any kind <laughs> are forced to do so. Uh -huh. And I, I've noticed this before. Now, before I tell you what I found... I've always noticed that whenever I would shop for my wife, right. I have, first of all, this may surprise a lot of people, I know nothing about fashion. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> so, I, I don't want to implicate myself. So whenever I walk into a clothing store, I find that I got a lot of attention. I just thought because, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, poor guy, you know, you know, we want to help you out. Well, listen to this. Some Victoria's Secret stores train their employees to treat male customers differently from females. Hmm. Now, the workers are taught that men, and this is true, this makes sense, men will pretty much buy anything in order to get out of the store as quickly as possible, which means they'll spend more money. Wow. Now, I won't sit there and hold panties up in my hands and go, hmm, $5 <laughs> for this, or can I go two for f hmm. I, and that's true. You know something, Bill? I have to admit, though, a store like Victoria's Secret would be one that I would stay in for a long <laughs> time. Okay. But that's the thing. If you're shopping in a store like that, and you're there with all good intention because you want to shop for the woman you love, uh -huh. you walk by and you see a guy sitting there pawing through the brush, immediately you're gonna th you don't think about the guy shopping for his wife. You just think, what a pervert. <laughs> You know, so workers are more likely to tell women about promotions. If a woman comes in, they'll say, hey, this is how you'll save money. Okay. But men... Get upsell. They will like, yeah. As a matter of fact, because employees compete to sell as much as possible, there have been reports that female employees fight over male customers. Oh, my. So it's like, oh, it's a guy. I'll get it. No, it's my turn. No, you sit down or I'll hurt you. <laughs> And I can so much say. So next time, I, and I have to go shopping again, and I'm going to take note of this. Mm -hmm. I want to see if indeed that I'm looked upon as cha ching. Yeah, yeah. Bonus material. Bill with the bling. <laughs> yes. So, yes, guys, look. I just want to set the record straight. I want everyone to know if you do see a gentleman in Victoria's Secret or any other clothing store or standing amongst the bras and the lingerie, <laughs> cut him some slack, okay? Oh, yeah. Chances are he really does not want to be there but kind of has to be there.